Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another episode. Another day in the life of me streaming Octopath Traveler, one of my favorite JRPGs out there. I'm thrilled to be here, as always. Um, I have been messing around with potentially some other stuff that we're going to start getting involved in here soon, um, including possibly uh, some Magic the Gathering Arena. Um, so that's exciting. I'm looking forward to all of the possible things that I could maybe get up to here in the coming days and weeks. Uh, but we're playing Octopath today, and it's the game we've been playing for uh probably a little bit over a week now maybe about a week um so far we have gotten six of eight party members so we're we're definitely getting there um i'm really excited about completing our party getting our getting our whole crew together and uh yeah i mean we've got one heck of a group one heck of a party and i hope that we can maybe make something really cool and really special happen uh so we've got one more side quest to complete down here in uh boulder fall you see we have uh this girl here who wants an egg that she dropped somewhere so we have to go and find that egg and she said oh it must have fallen maybe when i was crossing the bridge so there's the bridge over there uh we can't go down there that way but we're gonna try to go down below this bridge to try and find this egg um, because I would like to complete this side quest. I want to complete as many of the side quests as I can. Uh, just because it would be really neat and really fun uh, to sort of follow those stories. It is indeed the Earth's birthday. Happy Earth Day, everybody. Um, I am thrilled to be here celebrating Earth Day with all of you. And... Uh, this is the perfect time to think about all of those wonderful, beautiful Earth Day moments. Uh, I don't really have any beautiful, wonderful Earth Day moments myself uh, that I can think of off the top of my head. Um, I think uh, once upon a time in elementary school, we planted a tree. Uh, I do believe that we did that. I don't know how that tree is doing out in front of my elementary school, um, considering I no longer live in that area. But I hope it's doing well. Um, I really do. Uh, that was a really fun day. Uh, we might have also planted a time capsule roughly around the same time. Maybe, maybe like an Earth Day thing, maybe not. Uh, cannot remember what I put in that time capsule. Maybe I wrote like a letter or something. I don't know. Uh, I would love to know if that time capsule was being dug up, though. I think that would be super neat, super fun to find out. Uh, but it is Earth Day, and Earth Day always makes me think about Studio Ghibli. Um, obviously, I'm a huge Ghibli fan. Um, most people who enjoy anime are Ghibli fans, uh, as far as I know. Um... Okay, we gotta find this egg. That's what I'm... That's what I'm here trying to do. So we're gonna be... Oh, I pressed the wrong button. I meant to do fire, and I didn't do fire. Oopsie. Here we go. Uh, you know what, Alfin? Let's just uh, full-on amputation to this bird. Okay, that didn't do it. Um, Earth Day is something that I uh, associate most closely with my neighbor Totoro. Uh, 
It is one of my favorite things to watch around Earth Day. Um, but there are there are a lot of uh, Ghibli films that do kind of put me in that mood, which is pretty cool. Um, okay, so I know we can go down. I'm just trying to remember where we need to go to go down. No, we don't want to go that way. We want... She said, oh no, maybe it fell. Maybe there's something about a rock. Like, I... Oh, hey, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So we've got this cape, which we've un we've been unable to beat previously. But we're going to be able to break its guard. Oh, we missed. Oh, damn. Okay, so we got to find a way to beat that thing, because it has shown up all over the place. And I have a feeling we're going to get something really cool if we do sort of go ahead and beat that so you know i'm i'm hoping that we run into that kate again uh we have encountered it pretty often so i feel i feel mostly good about that but i i want to get it i want to get that thing i want to beat it somehow it avoids everything that we do which is a challenge for sure um i'm not particularly sure how we're gonna go about beating it but i wonder what's gonna happen when we do like i wonder if anything special will happen there or not um i'm sure someone who's played this game more than me uh does know but that'll be a fun little thing for us to find out sort of together as a group. Okay. Uh, you know what? For just a little while, while I look for this egg, I will actually equip Cyrus's um, evasive maneuver skill so that our random encounters go down. They'll decrease a significant amount. Um... So that'll be that'll be nice. That'll be a nice little rest. Um, okay, Cyrus, there's not a ton you can do, so let's just firestorm, I guess. For now. Weaken the one bird. Oh, we used the wrong weapon. God. Golly. I hate it. I hate using the wrong weapon or making the wrong attack when we could just so easily be done with this fight if I just hit the right button. Uh, so, so far, we have six out of eight party members, and we've still not... Uh, had a game over moment, so that is super cool. Uh, very fortunate for that. Um, so I know there is an area we can go where we can sort of go down. Is this going to take us to the next area? It is, okay. Um, so we don't want to go to the next area. We want to find this girl's egg... So we're going to we're going to try. Oh, what is that? That's a big bird. That is a huge bird. Oh boy. Okay, let's analyze the great condor. Oh, okay. Is this like a little special event maybe that we've run into? I don't know. Let's break this hyena. Okay. Uh, you've got a spear, Ulbrich, so let's let's hit it. You're the only one who's going to be able to hurt this thing, so. 
Um, we could break this thing now. Ooh, great condor. That's so exciting. Uh, yeah, let's just, uh, do a boosted firestorm for Cyrus. Knocks out at least two of our opponents, so. Okay, I wonder how much health this thing has. We're gonna sort of save our bigger attacks for now until we break it. Here we go. Okay, so now it's broken. So let's go ahead and max maximum burst amputation in this condor. There we go. Look at that. We beat the great condor. All right. Um, I assume when you beat some of some of those creatures, you're gonna get like uh, an increase in maybe like I don't know items that you get from the battle. Like maybe you'll get a better um, olive of life or something. One of the ones that will restore multiple teammates. Okay, so there is another bridge right here. So let's see. Uh, can we go down? I think we got to go across the bridge there. There's a cave. We don't want to go in that cave. But we do want to go down the cliff. Hmm. <sighs> Okay, Cyrus, you are really not helpful in this area, unfortunately, bud. Um, but you're our main character, so you kind of have to stay in the party. Um, Alfin's really helpful. And Ulbrich as well. Oh wow, look at that. Everyone's dead. Um, but yeah, it's Earth Day, everybody, so plant a tree, uh, plant some flowers, recycle, uh, do something, do something nice for, for the planet, uh, treat the planet well, it is our only planet, you know, the only one we can live on, so we should, uh, we should respect it. Uh, Ulbrich can get a new thing, and we're gonna get thousand spears because that is rad. We can attack random foes with a pole arm five to ten times, and we get uh, our next ability, which let's see, endure. When the equipping character is afflicted with poison, sleep, confusion, blindness, silence, terror, or unconsciousness, their physical and elemental defenses are enhanced. Oh. Wow, that is really good. Hey, you know you hit me with that status effect? Don't worry, you're not actually going to be able to hurt me after that. That's that's a nice ability. Because um, all these abilities are obviously, you know, passives and everything. Um, but some of them are just absolutely tremendous. Um, Therian's about to get another skill, which will also get him his next support skill. Um, and Alfin is halfway to the 1,000 as well. Uh, so hopefully uh, we can get some of those today. That would be really, really cool, really fun. Um, okay, so we are going to continue walking down, and we're going to try and find this egg that this girl dropped. Uh, that is a cave that maybe, you know, the egg has made its way into the cave, so. Don't know. Uh, I believe that cave potentially a little, a little strong for us. Uh, 
we'll sort of see what the danger level is now that we're walking past it, but I have a feeling it's going to be pretty strong. Uh, let's use Ulbrich's new ability, Thousand Spears, right? Uh, see, so we're going to get a lot of misses, um, and it's 5 to 10 attacks. So, you know, you never really know how many you're going to get, and they're not all going to hit, even against characters that we would probably hit any other way. Um, but we can also end up breaking everybody's guard in one one shot with Ulbrich, so it's uh, something to keep an eye on. And Max Ethereum. There we go. Don't start things you can't finish. Uh, so I hope you're all having a wonderful Thursday. Um, the weekend is almost upon us, and I know that doesn't mean quite a lot uh, the way that it did when we were once young. Um, I remember I used to be so stoked when the weekend came around. Um, okay, let's, okay, um, let's do armor corrosive, reduce a single throw's physical defense for two turns, that's pretty good, and we get fleet foot, um, I remember I used to look forward to the weekend so much, and I mean, I've worked in retail God knows how long now, uh, basically since I graduated high school, and the weekend means nothing to me now. Uh, as I'm sure many of you um, also feel and are familiar with. Uh, and you know, that's a huge bummer. Okay, danger level 20, we're not ready to go in there yet. Um, and it doesn't look like there's anything else over here. So. I don't want to go in here. Because we're definitely too low of a level. But, boy, I, I do want to kind of give it a shot, you know. Okay, let's uh, head back to our main area, and then we'll turn uh, the evasive maneuvers off, because I do I do want to uh, keep leveling up and level, level up a lot. Uh, okay, we've got nine, so we can just do one more level slash. Sort of bring everybody onto equal footing here. We'll go ahead, use fireball, break the hyenas. Uh, we can break whichever egg now is attacking before Alfin, and then Alfin can break the other one. And just like that, the enemy doesn't get a single attack. Um, Cyrus, you need to sort of reload with your plums. Go ahead, eat a plum, buddy old pal. I wish... Uh, that Therian had um, an ability that could attack multiple people. Um, like Ulbrich does, unfortunately. Okay, so you know what? Let's use an item. Let's let's save Ulbrich stuff for next turn. We can maybe just deal damage to everybody. We'll use a fire soul stone because it deals damage to everybody. Look at that. Uh, I like getting uh, the untouched bonus because I know it's not like a, like 20 money isn't a lot of money, but uh, obviously the more fights we get, the more money we get, which means the better items we can buy. So once I get back to that area, um, Oh, what is... Oh, there's a chest up here, actually. That I did not get before, because I thought it was like a, a dungeon. Cool. Um, yeah, so we're going to have to sort of circle back here, probably when we want to go to 
uh, quarry crest. Um, so we're going to get Hanit next. That'll be the person who ends up in our party next. She gets, I believe, a spear and a bow, much like Tressa. She definitely gets the bow. I don't know about the spear. Um, so we are definitely going to want to um, do something with her. Uh, let's go ahead and use HP Thief on the Cliff Birdian 3. Uh, Ulbrich can then break the egg. Okay, actually, we're going to go ahead and attack with the spear. Break Cliff Birdian 2. Sort of uh, get something good going. Double fire. Kill that. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, we'll we'll break the egg and then next turn we'll break the bird. Uh, so for those of you who are interested in D&D &D and follow me because of all that and everything, um, while I can't tell you specific details for the obvious reasons, uh, Viturium Awakening will be coming out uh, hopefully uh, early early June um, I know originally I had said um, May 31st unfortunately though uh, with some some issues that arose in the tabletop community involving someone who had been originally cast for the podcast uh, I am in the process of rewriting essentially uh, the events of the first four sessions that we played um, so that we don't lose all the all the character building and team building that was done uh, early on for the campaign there. Um, so, you know, we're working on that. Um, that is a long process that, uh, if I'm being totally honest, is exhausting. Um... But I'm really excited about what we do have uh, coming forward for all of you at some point soon. Um, you know, we are playing every week, recording every week, and every week the the players, um, all of the party members, the the forecast cast members of the show just blow me away um, every week. The role play has been phenomenal, so I think you're all going to be like so stoked to listen to this show i'm very excited um the episodes uh for those of you who followed the wanderers podcast the episodes were about an hour long uh this this game is gonna have longer longer episodes so you know probably closer to two two hours um, so it's almost like double the episodes. Um, if an episode feels like it's way too long, I probably will end up sort of just decreasing or like cutting it in half or something. If I, if I can manage that like story wise, um, I'm really excited and I hope everyone else is really excited too. Uh, I can't say enough good things about this show, and obviously, that's part of my job, right? You know, um, but I don't know. This is probably some of my my best work as a DM, uh, and that is only because I have such incredible players uh, to sort of bounce the role play off of and everything. Um, incredibly, incredibly grateful for the opportunity to get to play with all these folks. Um, so yeah, early June, Awakening will release. Um, coming up here in the next few days, uh, I have another podcast coming out. Um, it's more of a talk show, I suppose. Uh, that is coming out 
here in the next couple of days. Uh, Patreon subscribers will get it first. So, you know, feel free to... And they're going to get access to the Awakening episodes first as well. Um, so when the first episode of Awakening comes out, Patreon subscribers will have episodes one and two. Uh, as I thank you for them, obviously, subscribing to Patreon. Um, Patreon.com forward slash call me Caulfield for those of you interested in supporting me, my streaming, my shows, my tabletop books and content. Oh, oh, what is this? Path of Beast, Danger Level 15. Okay, that is something that we could do. Uh, we'll sort of maybe come back and do that. Um, that does sound like a really interesting dungeon that I would love to sort of try to traverse. Okay. Um... Uh, but yeah, so uh, the Caulfield Connection is the podcast I have coming out in the coming days. Uh, let's let's see if the Rackins. Okay, they're not weak to swords. Uh, analyze axes. They're all weak to the axe, so that's cool. Um, I imagine they're all going to be weak to the spear too. Yeah. Oh boy. Um, lightning, light, and I assume also the spear. Not the spear. The dagger, okay. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, um... Caulfield Connection, uh, the first episode is with my good friend Nix, uh, at MC underscore etching over on Twitter. Um, Nix does a lot of really cool stuff uh, with sort of glass work. Um, etches, etches glass design, etches designs onto all sorts of different glass things and such. Uh, I've seen some of the stuff that Nix has done. Nix has actually also done a very cool thing for me from once upon a time uh, that I'm also super stoked about uh, for the old Viturium logo. Uh, very, very excited to receive that and everything. Uh, Nix is one of the coolest people I know. Um... One of the coolest looking people I know rides a motorcycle. Uh, in the episode, we talk about Nix's time with Vampire the Masquerade, uh, getting into TTRPGs and LARP and all this stuff, and of course, also the glasswork. Uh, it's a great conversation. That is going to be episode one, and I am so thrilled uh, that I get to bring that to people. Um, and... It's just going to be a lot of really cool conversations. I'm going to get to have a lot of really cool conversations with a lot of really cool people on this podcast. Uh, I already have had some really incredible ones. Uh, and I can't, I can't stress enough how thrilled I am to be able to live a life where I know these people and I get to talk to these people and everything. So, I hope you guys check it out. Um... But yeah, thrilled, very, very excited for everything that I've got coming out soon. Um, the Viturium open casting call sign-up sheet ended yesterday, uh, so I will be looking into casting at least one or two of uh, the shows I have planned, including, but not limited to, um, my, uh, Dragon Age TT RPG stream, all of which you'll be able to find right here at Call Me Caulfield here on Twitch. Uh, yeah, I'm very excited for everything that, uh, I have coming up 
and gosh, I don't I don't even know how to you know react. Um, I'm just really lucky. I'm just really lucky to get to play D and D with the people I get to play with. Um, there were a lot of signups for the uh, for the streams, so uh, it's going to be very difficult for me to ultimately have to go through and pick people. Uh, that's always a, a difficult part of anything for me. Okay, there's like a chest down there and I want it, but I am not particularly sure how to get to it. I assume... Okay, we can walk that way. Let us fight with honor. Uh, okay, yeah, we're gonna not use Fireball because we're out of SP again. Let's try this. Um, but yeah, no, I'm, I'm so excited. Uh, because a lot of people signed up for, for these streams and I'm so grateful. Uh, it's gonna be such a hard choice. Uh, because I have gone through and read some of these uh, submissions already, and it is so weird that so many people wanted to work with me, and uh, I'm so glad that so many people are like, hey, um, a big reason why I wanted to be a part of this is because you came out and have spoken up about inclusivity and diversity and safety, and that is something that I can never, ever overstate. Um, I am, I am eternally grateful that I get to, that I get to do that. And that I get to be in this position and that people do recognize how important something like safety tools in my games are and that it's become something that makes people want to work with me because of how important they are to me which incredible absolutely incredible it is an accomplishment it is something so important to me and something so important to so many people I care about uh, it's a no brainer you know to have that sort of thing included in what we're trying to do here um over on the Viturium twitter twitter account that's at v-e-t-u-r-i-u-m let me just share that here in chat um you can follow everything we're doing with Viturium. uh you can follow me my team um, my people, uh, you get to see some really incredible, wonderful, unbelievable art that has been done by, um, a good friend of mine at wow, Kate, C-A-I-T on Twitter, who did the official art for the Wanderers podcast. Um, the logo for that, um, has done the logos here for my Twitch channel as well. Um, and also the original Viterium logo, the original character art. Uh, so grateful for everything Kate has done for me in my life. Kate is a really good friend of mine, someone I am very close to, someone who I value so highly. And uh, then for, we've recently had a, re, a redesign over here at Viterium. Uh, new logo, uh, new separate awakening logo, and all of that done by my wonderful, talented, unbelievable fiance at Neckbones, who is, uh, well, on Twitter, it's at bloody lovely, B L O O D I L O V E L I, if I'm not mistaken, but at Neckbones, pretty much everywhere else, uh, and love my life absolute unbelievable talent um has done the art for the official logos of viturium and viturium awakening uh and 
the character art for Awakening is not out yet, but that is being done by another good friend of mine and a member of the original Wanderers cast, um, my good friend Harry. Uh, they are in absolute delight, and I am thrilled for that character art when we can finally end up sharing that. Um, I cannot stress enough uh, how how many talented people I get to work with because of Viturium and everything. And that's so cool, so awesome. Um, and I think it's it's all going to be very obvious when all of this content starts rolling out. Um, coming up here not too long from now, there's going to be uh, the first of many... Uh, the first of many monthly um, TTRPG encounters that you can use in your games. Uh, I've got that coming up, and I am excited about that. Okay, provoke like a pro. You'll always gain initiative when you provoke the residents of this town. Um, so that is... Um, provoke is... Uh, what's her name? Uh, Hanit's ability. Uh, so I'm looking forward to to that, of course. Uh, she is over on the other side of the town. We basically have to go hunt something, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken. That's kind of like what we're gonna be doing here. Oh my god, I've forgotten to steal from all of these people. Well, let's just go ahead and steal from our new friends family friends 80% success I like those odds um, especially for these healing items because you know they don't cost that much but I like uh, not having to spend money on anything okay so that 8%, but this, 80%? Okay. There we go. We won't try for that 8% one just yet. If it were 10%, I think I'd definitely give it a shot. Headgear. There we go. Look at that. 80% basically as good as 100%, right? I'm sure there are a lot of people who would say absolutely not, Robin. They are not the same. Okay, so there's another item inside this house. There's got to be a way for us to get inside these people's houses, right? Like, it has to. Oh, Arcane Bow, that's really good, actually. Uh, I should probably, like... Okay, 100% chance. 80%? Oh, the one, the one guy who we can't steal from on 80% the first time. We'll always get him the second time. More plentiful provisions. Ooh, hit an item right next to us. Okay, so anyone we don't get uh, information out when we inquire with, uh, I think we should probably try and scrutinize. No, yeah, the American school system would definitely, definitely not call 80% and 100% the same. Okay, so... We get nothing for scrutinizing. Okay, we actually did get one from her originally. You know, inquiring, we just kind of get for free. But, you know, when we do, like, the other thing, it's not so the same. Uh, so we are going to end up probably switching 
Ulbrich and Therian out in this area. Uh, Ulbrich will go in favor of Hanit. We'll switch Therian out for Tressa. Um, I don't I don't want to use Primrose over Alfin, but we should probably spend some time leveling Primrose up. So we will go ahead and do that while we're while we're here doing Hanit's whole thing. After we're done with Hanit's thing, we'll take Primrose out of the party. Um, let me go ahead and take uh, evasive maneuvers off. Okay, I was worried I couldn't unequip it for a minute. Uh, okay, so Primrose, we need to get to 500. Tressa needs to get to 1,000. And then they get new abilities as well. Good. Um, yeah, okay. Let's, uh, let's save. Now we'll save and, oh, can I do something with my equipment for everybody at the inn? I believe I can. Yeah, so when we're at the inn, we can sort of switch equipment around for every member of our party, uh, rather than just the ones we have sort of here. Okay, so the sprightly earring, good for plus 10 speed, but the max HP, max SP, really what we need for for Cyrus um, would be nice to get a new spear for Tressa uh, we did get two arcane bows so that'll be good uh, Tressa does have actually a good uh, piece of piece of headgear so um, maybe 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 we'll give Tressa some some speed earrings. Uh, we're good on swords, good on spears. We'll go ahead and give the headgear to Ulberic, who will definitely be in our party a lot. So that'll be really important for him. Uh, need to get Primrose some new weapons too. really need to get Primrose new everything. Um, we'll give Primrose a speed boost because Primrose does have a lot of speed compared to everybody else. Uh, let's see. Therion. Mr. Therion as uh, that one girl called him. We're good with the evasion boosts. Uh, Alfin. A lot of axes. A lot of axes. Um... I think the cleaver's still good because it's a plus 70 physical attack and a plus 14 crit. Um, using anything else, not really like the best. I mean, the arcane hatchet gives us a boost to our elemental attack, but we don't really use our elemental attack with uh, Alfin all that much. So probably want to stay away from that. Okay, so everyone is pretty much... Oh, you know what? No, we have to check the the bow for Tressa. I forgot about that. Um, okay, Tressa's already got the arcane bow. We already gave that. Oh, we just gave that to Tressa. Right, right. Uh, so let's go to the armor provisioner. Sort of switch things up, switch things around. Uh, let's, one, sell this empty coin pouch. Hmm. Okay, so we'll probably give the arcane hatchet to whoever else can use an axe, if anybody else can use an axe. Uh, we'll get rid of this longbow, because that is no longer helpful. Leather helm, gone, not helpful. Uh, do we have anything here in our items? Okay, we do have some 
some nuts. A uh, tree nut only restores SP to a single ally, so we don't want to use... I mean, that's not really going to do much for us, but we do have a increased crit rate, increased evasion that I think we do want to give to Therion, uh, increases maximum SP. Still think we should... We should probably give that one to Olberic because that would be the most helpful with him. Interesting. Um, you know what? I want to sell like a lot of this stuff because we do not have a ton of money. We only have 8,000. And if we look at like the items in here, you know, we have the soldier's longbow, which is a plus 98 physical attack, plus 14 crit, and it occasionally decreases the target's physical defense. That's like really good. Uh, I like the wolf's bow. Um, I think that'll be really good for Hanit. Um, Falcon garb. Uh, that would actually probably be really good for Olberic. Uh, but it's also a plus 82 evasion. So, maybe really good for Therion to have. Um, the only thing it would boost for Cyrus would be evasion. Uh, which isn't a bad thing, because evasion is really good. Uh, Tressa would benefit a lot. Primrose, obviously... Ulrich would lose some speed, but that's not really that important for him. He's kind of our big bad tank. Um, and we we can afford that. Ulrich is about to not be in our party though, for this for this next thing. So maybe we hold off. Maybe we don't buy anything until uh, whatever comes next. I want to I wanna buy something, though. I really do. I love buying new equipment. It's my favorite thing in RPGs. Uh, I can get lost in equipment menus for hours and hours and hours. Uh, but this is fine. This is a good, good party, I think. Uh, her name is Hanit, and she is a hunter. One of the last descendants of her proud and ancient clan. She makes her home here in Sawarki. Swarky, deep in the dark wood, this seasoned huntress roams the forest with Lind, her fast friend. Though her mind often turns to her master, who left the village one year ago on a dangerous hunt from which he has yet to return. So naturally, we're uh, going to be looking for her master. When a local noble came seeking aid, she answered the call and was tasked with hunting a vicious beast that plagues the nearby forest. And so she makes the Whisperwood with her loyal companion makes for the Whisperwood with her loyal companion Lind at her side. She will need fierce allies on the path she has chosen. Uh, so we're going to go find a ferocious beast. Uh, so let's throw Hanit in instead of Olberic. So our party is much weaker uh, right now because we need to get Primrose some love and, uh, you know, the whole party needs to be working. One year ago. Good. Thou hast yet to depart. Thou hast yet to depart. Um, Hanad is so, like, formal. It's very interesting. Um, I think, I think Hanad is a very cool character. A joke, as always. Um, I kind of like her skill set. It's very interesting. Uh, I believe it's the spear and the bow. And then she also gets to sort of use... Uh, she can capture animal companions that you're fighting against uh, sort of out in the wild and use them to uh, attack, um, use them in battle and everything, which is really cool. As well as Lind. The Knights are Daunt. Ooh, fancy. Uh, we'll learn more about the Knights Ardant at the next uh, city when we go speak with Ophelia. 
um, the Knights Ardant come up in that area. And then we'll get to start to in Chapter 2. Bruises on his bow arm. So he says two moons have passed. Basically two months. Uh, and it's been a year. So obviously something bad is going on. Right? <laughs> what is it, my girl? What is wrong? She's like, I'm not worried about whatever you're hunting. She she's worried. She's worried that he's gonna gamble, lose a ton of money. Gamblest away thy purse. Victor's Hollow is where we have to go for Ulbrich's next chapter, so... And Merth, that while I have a keen eye for assessing the strength of beasts, I am quite a good boss with men. A valuable lesson that was cheaply bought. <laughs> a valuable lesson. That was cheaply bought. Bro, you lost a lot of money. I, I really don't like the way they talk in this town, though. Had to pay in thy debts, and thou only finishedest, finishedest paying her back this last moon. Like, it's promising me. It's like, it's it's not necessary. It is very unnecessary to be speaking Shakespearean out in the woods. If the first arrow faileth, like, come on. This is unnecessary. Unnecessary. Terrible. Thou art. Like, come on. You could have just said thou. Uh, you're too young. Thou art too young by half for such world weary size. Like, There are easier ways to say this. Much easier ways, for sure. I turn to thee, honey. Looking after himself. For he can rarely be bothered to look after himself. Hey, hey pup, look after this old man, okay? Like this this guy? Absolute nightmare. So And then the dude's just like, oh come on. I feed you. We're best friends. How could you betray me like this? Growlest thou not at me, thou faithless turncoat. Call the dog a turncoat. Hail, honey. Have you come to see us off? I have come in to warn Master about straying from the path. <laughs> and I thank you for it. I do not have the leaves to pay another debt like that. Terrible. Awful. Absolutely no good. I hate it. Um, but Hanit's cool character. Eliza, a knight ardent. Uh, so, one one thing I'm very, very much looking forward to um, after I believe we get the whole party together, um, there are little moments where they just sort of converse with each other about the things that have just happened. It's pretty cool. Uh, so that should happen, I believe, after we get Ophelia on our team. Thank any. Like, come on. It's terrible. It's just, it's just 
terrible. I am insulted, disrespected, and disgraced with the way that they decided to write these scenes here in this village. To send in a single letter. Like, just send. I hate it. But I like very much want to find this beast that this man is tracking. Red Eye. Red Eye. That's their name for it, leastwise. As for its true name, the half one. Yeah. Yes, Jay Beavers. Uh, it is quite pretentious. And, you know, you would think that maybe this kind of dialogue would have happened over in. Um, Atlas Dam with Cyrus, you know, the scholar with the princess and everything. Like, there I would have found it to be a little less annoying. But these are hunters in little log cabins and everything. Beastmasters. And, I don't know, speaking Shakespearean, just... It doesn't feel like it fits. But I am very excited to find this beast because I feel like it's going to be a really, a really good fight. Uh, I really like the the challenging fights in this, so the boss fights and everything. Um, I don't know. Um, the more challenging the boss fight, the more entertaining this game is for me. So I don't want to, like, over-level for anything, you know? Uh, so this upcoming boss fight, uh, should be pretty good with, uh, Hanit being a low level, Primrose being a lower level, um, Tressa's kind of up there still at, like, a 15, um, and Cyrus is obviously the highest level. I mean, obviously, this thing is formidable. Oh, you know what? The reason he's probably not here for the last year? Gambling. Probably. Like, catcheth it? Come on. I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> Master entrusted the safety of the village to me. My duty now is to the villagers. Uh, Hanit is probably one of the older characters, similar to Ulbrich. Like, Therion, young guy. Tressa, young. Uh, Cyrus, a little bit older. Alfin, Probably a little bit on the younger side. Uh, I'd say Ophelia is going to be also on the younger side. So Ulbrich and Hanit kind of like the parents of the group. Um, if I if I had to if I had to say so. Um, so that's that's fun. Uh, Primrose. Hmm. I imagine Primrose is on the. The lower end, the younger end as well. Uh, because her story begins, obviously, in the past, just like Ulbrich's. Um, no one else's really does, except for Therion's. So Therion might be kind of middle of the road, but I don't know. I see. Hmm. 
But it's a very interesting group when you put all eight of them together. It's like the most unlikely of allies. Uh, Alfin would probably have definitely helped out any of them because Alfin's a super helpful guy. Um, Cyrus probably thinks, oh, I can learn a lot from all of these people like Ulbrich this dude who has been around and was part of this fallen kingdom of Hornburg, like, that's pretty cool. Uh, Honnet probably looks at someone like Olberic and is like, oh, you're, you're really good with a blade. Let's, let's go. You would be very helpful in my, in my quest. Um... Alfin is probably just like, yeah, these people are definitely going to get beat up, and I'm looking to cure everybody, so I can probably learn a lot by trying to heal all their wounds in battle. Uh, Tress is like, hey, you know, I'm a merchant. I could probably use some strong people around me who perhaps could, uh, you know, uh, keep me alive. Um, two of them waiting eagerly in the square. Uh, so we're gonna have to do a lot. Uh, we're gonna have to fight two sort of youngins, just like we did with Ulberic. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and beat up these guys because we can provoke. Training time, is it? I am ever ready. Now, let us hunt you surprised your foe. Uh, so yeah, so we've got a forest fox that can make a sword attack five times. Um, the mossy meep can restore health. So our beast abilities are very cool. Um, that's kind of all we've got going for us with, uh, with Hanit. Oh man. Hanit can't use any weapons, can she? She just uses the beasts, if I'm not mistaken. Or maybe that's only in, like, the provoke, like, combat. That could be it. I don't know, actually. Um, I can't remember. Uh, we'll find out, I guess. Okay, let's beat up his friend now. Um, Let us begin. I I would very much enjoy uh, seeing um, this group as um a D, &D campaign um i think that would be pretty interesting but yeah hana and Ulbrick definitely like mom and dad of the group like all right everybody stick together uh all right let's let's do this let's be careful um, I like how after we beat this dude up, our, like, jungle cat just lays down. It's like, yep, yeah, nope, I'm gonna take a nap. Excellent. Like, we beat this guy up pretty, pretty good. So let's just, let's just rest. How about that? Hello there. That's the weirdest voice for a little girl. Hello there. Huntress hunt it. Hunt it. The headman sent me to find thee. He said he must speaketh with thee right away. Oh no, what could the headman want? That's... Like, we just talked to the headman. Why do we need to follow her? We know exactly where he is. Greetings. Ye wished to see in me. A request hath come in from the... Demesne of Lord Ciaran. Kieran? Oh, you know what? It's probably Lord Kieran. Uh, it would seem a beast hath strayed into his provincial forest, and he will it gone. 
Just so, he asketh for our best hunter. And while Master Zanta is off on the hunt, that meaneth thee. I'm going to read these pretentious bits of dialogue because they're ridiculous. Always remember, Hanet, since time immemorial, ours has been a village of great hunters and huntresses. Yes, far and wide beyond the edges of the Darkwood, our home. The bard sangeth of our exploits, and all the realm lauded fair Swarki. Swar Swarki? Fair Swarki? Swarki? As the home of the true hunter. Is that not how it went? Ho ho! Have I told it that many times? Long witted tales, my dear. <laughs> Are the vice of an old man, yes, and for the hunt, I am ready when needed. Like, they talk normal. Excellent! Lord Kieran's messenger awaiteth inside. He will telleth thee all thou needest to know. I, am ready. I will speak to him at once, but they put an extra E at the end of speak. Like, I'm asking. why? Hunnet, prithee, prithee do not, Master Zanta, would thee not? Prithee do not, Master Zanta, would thee not? I have no idea what that sentence means. Of course, thank ye. Thank ye. ye. Extra E at the end of thank, too. Nonsense. Well, My apologies for the urgency of the matter, but monsters pay little heed to the convenience of men. Nay. I am here to serve, telling me more about this beast. Eh. Your quarry is to be a fearsome beast that has wandered into the whisper wood from the gods nowhere. Hmm. A monster that hath strayed from its home. Aye, just this morning a merchant and an injured companion fetched up at our manor in frightful shape. As one man told it, the other was in no condition to speak. Their caravan had been waylaid by the beast, and they were the only survivors. How dost thou know when this creature was responsible? Lord Kieran's scholars were called upon to investigate the matter. From the merchant's testimony, they concluded the men were attacked by a savage beast known as a Girat Gisarma. And we obviously know what that beast is. I have heard, with an extra E, of this creature. Its baleful roar would make it an unlikely fit for the tranquil Whisperwood. His lordship is most anxious to protect his subjects, needless to say. Yeah, I'm sure. He seeks the help of the most capable hunter in this village, and so, in Master Zanta's absence, we turn to you. Everyone's just like, yeah, we understand you're not the best hunter here, Hanat, but you're definitely number two. So, like, we don't mean this as any disrespect, but he's not here, so we need you. It's like Iron Man not being available, and instead you're getting, you know, Falcon. Uh, like an Ant-Man. Um, they go to rob the Avengers, and it's just, like, Falcon available, and it's like, where's everybody else, you know? What say you, Hanet? Will you free our fair province of this unholy menace? I am ready. Tell in thy lord that I shan't fail him. Fail with an extra E as well. <laughs> F-A-I-L-E. Unnecessary. There is a dignity about you that Master Zanta lacks, but I see you share his passion for your calling. I hope you will continue to inherit only his better qualities. <laughs> like, hey, that man gambles a lot, so we're glad that you don't. Master is a fine teacher. He showeth by example both what a hunter oughteth and oughteth not to doin. Or doin? Doin. <laughs> they do. And it's like, it, it doesn't come up pretty much anywhere else in the game. It's just the Middle English here in the middle of the woods. It would seem we are in safe hands indeed. Yes, thou art. Like. And so I must do my duty and hunt the beast. Thine offer is a generous one, yet the path ahead is fraught with danger. How curious, Linda judgeth thee worthy. It is not only she warmeth, 
I'm sorry, it is not often she warmeth to strangers. I shall, with an extra E, accept in thine offer, lend in me thy strength in battle. The monster hath been sighted in the Whisperwood. It is there that we must go. So we're going to the Whisperwood. Um, let's see equipment. What can we give? Okay, yeah, so Hanit can use axes, so we'll give... Okay, so that's two people we can use axes with. We'll give her the arcane hatchet and the arcane bow. Although I know she doesn't really do like magic stuff a lot. Um, and we don't have any jewelry for her. That's okay. We'll make some money out here in the woods, right? Oh, we can buy from the headman. What can we get from you? Oh, the healing grape, that's right. Uh, okay, let's provoke this guy so that we can maybe get into his house. And uh, when we do, like, challenge people with Ulbrich or provoke with Hanit, um... We do, in fact, uh, gain experience from those fights, which is really cool. Uh, let's maybe beat this person up and then try and go in his house. Oh, yeah, so we can. So we're gonna... I mean, there's a couple of people. Oh, there's a purple chest in here, too. So we definitely... scrutinize right let's see what do you got nothing okay um purchase can i purchase something from you oh that's not a bad ear okay so let me uh put therian in our party really quick uh because i want that purple chest um yeah so let's just for a second change tressa out Okay, so there's definitely a few people that we can stone bow. Yeah, so that was a really good thing to actually get. And let's, yeah, let's just steal the earring. I don't need to buy that. Uh, okay, so we'll put Tressa back in the party. Uh, so there are definitely going to be some people that we are going to beat up later. Uh, that's for sure. Uh, we did just get a new bow, though. So uh, that's what both Hanit and Tressa... Uh, Hanit might actually end up being a more valuable person for us. Is the stone bow better? No. No, it's not. It is a boost to accuracy, though. That's not bad. But it'll be something that we can sell. So, that works. Uh, so yeah, let's just go ahead and sell it. Okay, we'll sell the hand axe, because we don't need that. Uh, sell the longbow, sell the stone bow. And now we're up to 12,000. All right, we'll do a quick little save, and then we'll head into the woods. Let us go. So now we're on the path to the Whisperwood. There's a couple chests in the area. Um, hopefully no more purple chests. Hopefully we already got... Uh, hopefully we don't have to come back out here with Therion later. Okay. Look at, look at Cyrus with just all these women now. Just like, hey, what's up everybody? Um, okay. Marmot? Bow? Yeah, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Um... Lightning Bolt. I am ready. Okay, so Primrose, obviously not the most useful person out here. Um, but we'll be able to... 
boost, uh, let's say, Hanit's physical attacks. Because I think Hanit hits, like, really hard. Um, so that's something that we're definitely going to want to... So now we're going to be focusing a lot on... Uh, Primrose's support abilities here. Um, because while she might not be, like, the most helpful member of the party in combat, like, physically, or even, um... Shoot, what's it called? Uh, maybe not the most valuable physical attacker. Um... Her support abilities will will definitely be pretty helpful for us, I think. Uh, so we need to get her to what, 500? Yeah, 500. Um, we're gonna be able to get some pretty good abilities for Haunt too. Like, uh, she can get lightning damage which is really cool. Um, Mercy Strike, Arrow Storm, uh, both really good. Uh, Mercy Strike will be able to almost kill people, but not fully kill people. But I assume it's like a strong attack, and then Arrow Storm five to eight times. Okay, so we can get those, like, red chests. So, hopefully we get tons of those out here. Now, letting us hunting. Letting us hunting. Like, even... Even her just, like, generic voice line is terrible. It's an embarrassment. Look at that. Uh, you know what? Let's, uh... Hit him with the lightning bolt. Uh, Tressa, you've obviously got the spear, so let's attack this ratkin. Letting my arrow fly in true, she says. Confusing the hell out of me. Let's do Nido. Let's just deal some damage to everybody. Regular fireball. Guard break. Everyone else is dead. We love winning in combat. Um, I love adding new people to my party because they just level up instantly. It's awesome. 500 gold. I'm gonna call it gold. I know there's like an actual unit of like measurement or whatever for, or like an actual name for the currency, I assume. I don't know it. <laughs> so I, you know, I'm lost. Um, okay, we'll go with Arrow Storm. Nope, nope, not take aim. I don't wanna increase a party member's act. Oh, all allies critical writ critical rate and accuracy for two turns. That's actually not bad. Uh, that might be our third ability, because I think our second ability um, will be Thunder Thunderbird and then probably take aim, since it that's like a passive just skill boost for everybody. Um, look at how much of the map, you know, that we're sort of uncovering here. That's that's fun. Um, so the only chapter ones we have left will be Hanit and then Ophelia. And then we'll sort of be what? Like, we'll be here for Ophelia, which means uh, Tressa and Cyrus's chapter two's a little far off. 
Alfin's chapter two so far away. Like, look at that. It's on the other side of the world. <laughs> um, and I'm not really sure why. Um, there was nothing that really, like, said, hey, Alfin, you have to... You have to do this over here, you know? Okay, so... Let's follow the river here for a second. Oh, you know what? Uh, so there's definitely a lot. Like, th if this is all, like, the whole map of the world, there's going to be a lot of exploring for us to do. It is a very big map. Um, it's easy to traverse, obviously, but... Um, we'll go and do Ophelia's... Uh, chapter one, and then I think from there it makes the most sense to do Therians up in Noble Court, Primroses up in Still Snow, Ulbricks over in Victor's Hollow. Although Ulbricks, we have to be the highest level for out of all of them. Um, and then down to Tressa and Cyrus, who are both in the same place. And then, I guess, Alphans all the way over here. I mean, just traveling there is going to take a few hours. Um, so I might have to make, like, a whole day of it for, for Alphans Chapter 2. Uh, maybe I'll do, like, a nice 24-hour charity stream or something. Now, what next? Lightning Bolt. Break everyone's guard. Nice and easy, nice and simple. Do that. Uh, you are not really that good right now. Um, I I've definitely learned with all the time I've spent playing this game that you you have to change your party out pretty often, just because. If you don't, they're going to end up way too under-leveled, and then you're going to do a lot of grinding when it comes time to, like, do their actual story elements and everything, which is a pain in the ass. Um, but... Uh, more importantly, like, there are going to be some areas where you're going to, like, step in and be like, okay, so these are the kind of creatures we're generally going to run into over here. Okay. Wow. We are terrible. You know? Um. Like, we're, we're going to need to just level up so that our party is strong enough and we can get enough variety in certain areas where we can actually break the guards of enemies because if we don't break all of these enemies guards then we're kind of we're kind of going to get just absolutely throttled um so there's that oh is that like a a big squirrel like an extra big one yeah look at that look at that tail it's huge Let's use Firestorm. Majestic Marmot. So that's probably like King Marmot, you know? I am ready. Um. You are actually useless in this entire area, Primrose. So. Uh, Lion Dance. Haunt it. Uh, Tressa, you can attack with your bow. Capture and tame a monster to be summoned into battle later. Actually, I kind of do want to get the Majestic Marmot. Um, since it does have like a stronger... Like, four strength is actually pretty good on there. Um, that'll be helpful in the in the final boss fight. I am ready. Uh, 
Um, so if we Lion Dance on it, yeah, so that just keeps boosting. Um, and Primrose did get that ability, so anything that says two turns or three turns or whatever, it is actually plus one turn on top of that, which is very helpful. Uh, let's use what? Let's use Lind. Oh, that was not the ability I wanted you to use, Lind. I wanted you to do, like, the sweep attack. That would have been awesome, but instead you decided to not do that. Wasting my time. Uh, Night Ode. Let's just deal AoE damage. Um, paying attention to sort of what you're doing in combat is so important in this, uh, and it's definitely something I don't do enough, especially when I'm streaming, I kind of lose track of what I'm actually doing and what I'm supposed to be paying attention to, because I'm, you know, the worst. Uh, Firestorm. Dagger. Spear. Maximum strength, boosted strength, axe attack, burst limit, Cyrus leveled up, Hanet leveled up, would be nice if Primrose was leveling up a lot more here. Okay, so now we're, hmm, interesting. Spirits having mercy. This was not done in the name of survival. The Gisarma sought not food. It sought sport and wanton slaughter. It sleweth these men and beasts for no reason other than as a fearsome show of its dreadful power. I see thou tremblest, little one. Thine heart is filled, de filled with an extra E with fear. Come on. Thou witnessedest what the beast did, it matteth, or it mateth thee bear witness. Ah. Patience, I shall return and attend to the fallen. But first, they shall be avenged. And this, this wolf is just like, absolutely. Like, I understand what you're saying, human. I've got your back. Will thou protect them? friend until my return like on it just to cast speak with animals i shall return anon the middle english oh boy to eaton to ben eaton this is the fate and the privilege of any beast of the forest a life for a life so it hath been since the dawn of time but to slay in for sport for pleasure or greed is to betray in the law of nature. Each time a creature taketh more than it needeth, a part of the forest dieth. I hunt not merely to keep in Lord Kieran's people safe. I hunt to save in the forest itself. Obnoxious. The Middle English. Absolutely obnoxious. Um, so can we go north? Is there like a thing? A chest? Yeah, I knew there would be. I've been playing so much of this game here on stream, and I've only been playing it on stream, of course, um, for all of you lovely folk, but it makes me want to pick up my Switch copy and just keep going so badly. Uh, but I, I like being kind of surprised with all of you, you know? Uh, yeah, let's use Lind again. Lind hits, hits, hits pretty hard, so. And has, like, AoE attacks, so. Benefit. Huge, huge benefit. Lightning bolt. Okay, we killed those two like fox creatures pretty, pretty easily. Um, I don't know what else to do to this like armadillo. Gabaradillo. Um, I kind of want to catch it. 
Um, but I think we can only have, like, a certain level of things. A certain amount of things. Oh, okay. There's, like, three different paths. There's a chest here. Hooray. That's fun. Exciting. Okay, we can, I believe, go north. What is... What did we just walk into? Uh, okay. So, let's see. So those things are only gonna be weak to... Physical attacks. Four different kinds of weapons. Probably the axes in there. If I had to guess. Uh, Lind. Nice. Here I go. Okay, not the spear. Probably... Um, sorry, I'm like so invested in being focused right now. I'm like losing my train of thought. Uh, there we go. New level up. Um, I will be calling it a day after we complete Hanit's story. Um, as I have been, uh, lately. Tomorrow, Friday... Um, I will be back at 4 p.m. Eastern again, and I will definitely, I believe, go for a bit longer uh, tomorrow, since it'll be our final chapter one with Ophelia, and uh, maybe we can start gearing up for chapter two. How about that? Uh, okay, so we were going to do, what, Thunderbird next, now that we have Arrowstorm. Okay, and we got, what, Heightened Senses, Equip Support Skills, Gain an Increased Chance of Attacking First in Battle, Equipping... Okay, that's pretty cool. Nice. Um, I really do enjoy the support skills. I can't wait to unlock this mystery category. Um... Can't wait to find out what is there. Uh, so we're gonna grab this last chest. Oh no, there's a red one back there. So we'll grab that red chest, which I believe will be our last one before our final boss fight here today. Hmm, okay. Let's see, Cyrus, what are you good for today? Let's do a little bit of lightning damage to the group. Um, I think I think we'll use Haunted a lot, uh, a lot more than I expected. Um, just because of Haunted's skill set, being able to capture those creatures that all do different types of, like, physical damage. Um... And now also being able to do some lightning damage. Using a bow and arrow and axe and then having a a beast companion that does sword and spear damage. Uh, it's kind of like saying, hey, Hanit has the most range as a character. Um, the most overall value, maybe. Um, I don't know. It'll be, it'll be interesting, uh, to see sort of where we land on everything. Okay, so I think that next ability is gonna be, what, 500 for Haunted? 
Um, I think we're still looking at a thousand for Primrose. Let me just double check. Uh, 3,000 for Cyrus, 1,000 for Tressa, 500 for Hana, and 500 for Primrose. Okay, so we're going to get pretty close to to that for, for Prim. Okay, so we're running into, like, the same four creatures in here, which is... I mean, that, that kind of makes it boring sometimes, I gotta say. Uh, not really a fan of just running into the same exact thing over and over and over. But, you know, it is what it is. Casual lightning bolt. Uh, so we're going to be able to break almost everything in one turn again, which is very good. Um, if we had someone with a sword, like if we had Ulbrich in our party right now, we'd not be getting touched by any of these things, like at all. They wouldn't be able to hurt us. Alrighty. Um, okay. So Tressa was what a thousand actually, not not. Yeah. So Tressa's a thousand. Primrose is five hundred, and Hanet I believe is five hundred now too. Okay. So boss fight. Nope. Treasure chest. I am one of those people who gets so easily drawn in to any sort of treasure chest or collectible in a game. Um, I get so easily distracted by this stuff. I'm like, oh yes, absolutely, I want that thing. I'll take it. Okay, so dagger, 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 dagger. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, yeah, so you're only going to be able to hurt that thing. Um... <laughs> okay, so with Prim... There we go, we can break that. And now, this turn, of course, we can just fireball, guard break kill the other two and we're out of the out of the woods um tomorrow i will i will play more octopath for sure four o'clock um i may also at some point tomorrow just casually jump on and do some magic the gathering arena um so obviously turn on your notifications for me and maybe uh tune into whatever i've got going on hello traveling peddler i would like to maybe sell you some things no uh okay no okay uh let's see what you've got same things as always uh let's go and take this time to use some of our nuts uh critical nut I still don't know who I want to give that to. I don't know who we want to crit the most. Um, probably Ulbrich, because he hits... Uh, he's probably our best physical attacker. Uh, the Slippery Nut, I will give to Therion, because that is our sort of slippery dude. Um, and then the Invigorating Nut, I think I wanted to give to Ulbrich, too. Uh, so, you know what, let's give the Slippery Nut to, I mean, Primrose makes the most sense there, I think, but, God. okay, so we're gonna hang on to those, because I don't know who I want to give them to. Um, okay, so let's just, let's just do the boss fight, right? Are we all healed? Uh, actually, no, we want Cyrus at maximum SP. 
So let's just use a plum, two plums. All right, let's do this. Let's fight the Gisarma. Look at that thing. Look at it. Oh, it's so scary. It's such a weird design. Like giant rat monster, maybe? That's enough, beast. Oh, well, the poor little wolves. They're like, no, stop hurting us. And they're just like, please help us. Please. Please. Gra, Roar. Thou scarest me not, beast. Hanit's just like, ha ha, you fool. I'm the greatest hunter who's ever lived. Is it not so? Thou wert driven from thine home. Bested by a beast more powerful, thou fleddest fledst, and foundest to thyself here. I, see. I understand thy pain all too well. Understand with an extra E. It's that extra E that drives me crazy. But to turn in thy grief and anger against innocent creatures, that is a sin of men. It was thy duty to adapt into the forest, to let it find in a place for you. Instead, thou wouldest rip out its heart and claim it as thine own. This cannot be forgiven. So this will be our our boss fight. We're going all in. We're ready to fight. Thou hast trespassed, beast. And in the name of the forest, I vist judgment upon thee. Oh my god, look at, look at its design. It's muscles, it's body, it's human hands and feet. And then it's just a drooling maw. Like, it's awesome. I love it. It knocked Primrose out in literally just one round. That's absurd. Uh, so that's not good. Um, okay, so we have True Strike, which is deal critical damage with a bow to single foe. Uh, Arrow Storm, all foes. Attack all foes five to eight times with a bow. Um, attack random foes five to eight times with a bow for regular rain of arrows. Um, we only have one foe, so that is the cheaper one to use in this sort of one-on-one -on -one fight. Um, especially since it can do some serious damage. Um, we probably want to revive Primrose, uh, actually. Yeah, like, one, one round just beats, beats the lights out of Primrose. Um, we'll use Tressa to just break its guard here in one round. Um, uh, let's deal, like, trade, let's do trade wind, see if we can, no, okay, so it's not, it's not weak to wind, um, we're gonna have to analyze it again, cause I, I gotta know, okay, so it's gonna be weak to three different elements, which is very, very strong, um, we'll do true strike, since that'll deal critical damage and we'll do it sort of maximum damage yeah 713 that's that's a lot um gosh uh let's try dark right let's just do moonlight waltz see if that's the third element no uh, but it is weak to elemental damage right now uh okay let's Analyze one more time. Okay, so it'll be weak to the sword, which no one has. Um, so Primrose, kind of not the most helpful individual in this particular party. Um, but we'll do Lion Dance, Boost, Hanit's physical attack. Um, we'll attack with the bow again. Uh, Tressa, attack with a bow. Everyone's gonna get another turn. So we'll analyze again, get the last thing. Lightning, okay. So Cyrus will be really good against this thing. Okay, so... Um... Let's use an item. Let's use, uh... 
this light soul stone since we have four of them. That's good for Primrose to use. It weakens the thing. Uh, and then we can just do Reign of Arrows, attack random foes again. Almost broke its guard. Um, but that kind of thing does save the BP for Haunt So, um, now that it's weak again, we'll do True Strike. Critical damage. Nice. Cyrus, now we've been waiting, saving off of this whole time. Uh, we're going to do maxed out Blizzard, so we're going to deal ice damage to it twice. Just hit it so hard. 1,500 damage. Um... I guess Primrose, we can just do, like, a max damage uh, Moonlight Waltz. Because at least it's, like, probably her strongest attack in this situation. Um, and Cyrus can do another big blizzard. Okay, so this thing is still only in the yellow. Um, but it is still, it still has its broken guard, and we only have 10. Okay, so let's do true strike again, because our bow attack, I think, is much stronger than what our lightning attack would be. Um, Tressa, maximum bow attack, obviously. Okay, um, so we're out of SP now for Hanit. So that could definitely put us in a tight spot. Uh, Cyrus Blizzard again, because uh, it'll do damage twice, two attacks. Um, let's use another item for Primrose. Uh, let's actually use a Plum on Hanit, because Hanit... I think is a much stronger partner for us right now. Primrose is here for support. Um, yeah, because now we can Blizzard again with Cyrus. Uh, Haunt we can just to do another True Strike. Guard Break again. Tressa with the bow. Uh, let's use another Light Soul Stone. Another one of the small ones. Because that's just 400 flat damage. Uh, let's do a boosted. Oh. I definitely <laughs> screwed up a little bit. But that's fine. Um, I wonder... Okay, let's do the max damage arrow storm. Because that could end up being eight arrow attacks. Uh, yeah, no, that was... Not what I wanted that to be. We should have just used true strike. Oh boy, that was not great. And that used, like, all of our SP. Like, this thing could go down with any attack appears ready to respond to any attack oh boy now now we're in kind of a tough spot oh it's got counters oh that's not that's not good that's gonna hurt because it's gonna counter the next two attacks against it um Okay, let's summon a beast then. Let's use our Majestic Marmot, since it does do sword damage. Look at that! Oh, boy. I was worried that this fight was maybe going to be the one that kind of left us in our very first game over. You know? Um, we got lucky. Worked out for us. That's a lot of money, too. 1760. And we got a healing great bunch. So that's good to heal everybody in the party, which is awesome. And we did it! Uh, so far, still, seven chapter ones complete. Zero game over scenarios. So, shout out to us.
And we have more painful dialogue. <laughs> This life belongeth to all. The animals that eateth the grass. Uh, thank you, Jay Beavers. I I think it is quite impressive. Um, hopefully we get through the entire game without a single game over scenario. That is what I'm counting on. That is something I believe. Um, so far we've had some good balance. We've leveled up properly. Um. Um, I think we are his flesh feedeth the soil, the grass. His blood becometh sap, his bones wood. Sorry, Hanet is obviously just uh, going off right now. The fruit of the plant he is, but the circle beginneth once more. Um lives entwined, a tapestry woven anew each dawn. Every day. Yeah. Um the demo was actually pretty difficult, um, because you were playing through the level, the chapter ones of basically every character, um, and it's tricky. It is definitely, definitely tricky. Um, and we've been playing through all the level ones here, and in my personal game, my first playthrough, I definitely had quite a few game overs. I went into some areas I was definitely not ready for. Um as long as he speaketh only he is the wisest of men. I think uh it's going to be very difficult for us to get through this without getting a single game over. Um it's going to be a lot of very careful planning, some careful item usage. Um the hunt is over. So we'll we'll see what happens. Um I believe in us. I think we're going to be very capable. Good day. You look well. I trust the hunt was a success. Well. The beast will trouble in thee, trouble in thee no more. These graves. Yes. yes. <laughs> I took the liberty of digging them while I waited for your return. Thou hast my Thank thee. Thank with an extra E, but I have a request. Leaving the beasts be, letting the forest reclaimeth them. That is the way of the wood. But of course. As you wish, milady. Um. So yeah, so so far, seven chapters down, zero game overs. Uh, so. Hagen, thou returnest to us. Oh, Hagen is furious, growling. Something has happened to our master, perhaps. Whereas master, hath something befallen him? Groar. He is confused and frightened. Thou didst run here, didst thou not, and alone doth master? Needeth my help? Ow, ow, oh. <laughs> Just so. It's all right, easy boy, easy. Uh... A woo. <laughs> there, there now. That's a good boy. Master is in trouble. That much is clear. Oh no! I must hasten, hasten to his side if anything were to happen to him. Hagen, canst thou guide me to master? Rough. <laughs> Rough. Bork, bork, bork. Whatever hath befallen him, we shall save him. Thou and I. Meanwhile, we go on and do everybody else's everything. You know, we do every other chapter of everybody's story before we get to the next of Primrose's. Uh, Hanets. It's hilarious. Listen to the head, man. Oh, so you're going after Zanta, huh? Everyone's like, you can't leave us. Hagen here came at seeking my help. 
I like that Hagen's like a big bad wolf. Begin with an E. With an E at the end. An unnecessary E. Pray. With an extra E. It's dumb. It's stupid. I hate it. It's bananas. I'm going to get a t-shirt. It's just going to be unnecessary E. Um, and... It'll just be, like, the Microsoft Edge symbol. Pretty, take us to care. We will. Like... See, when the headmaster was... The headman was talking to Hanit earlier... And you're like just sort of looking at him and he's like saying whatever and it's not like a voiced over conversation. When he talks now, you're like, there's no way he sounds like that. Okay, Hana, there's like eight of us here. You're not going to be back before the next moon, okay? Like, I'm sorry to break it to you. Not going to happen. And so did the Huntress Hanet set out on her journey, her master having vanished hunting the baleful red eye. It now fell to her to find him and bring him home. What fate awaits her on the road ahead? Only the gods can say. And off we go. Okay, so we're going to head back into that town really quick. Um, switch our party back up. Uh, Primrose, you know, would probably be so great to have, um, but I am definitely going to switch Primrose out. Um, and Tressa too. I think we'll keep Haunted in there, though. Um, okay, so let's change party. Let's take Therion, swap you for Tressa, and Ulbrick... No. We'll do Alfin for Primrose. Um, I would like to use Ulbrick here, but I actually think this group will be more helpful for now. Uh, let's see. Let's inquire. Tale of the Beast Tamers. What is... What did we just... What was that? What... What boost was that for? A critical earring. Oh. That didn't work, but let's try again. It's 80%. We'll get it the second time. Oh, what? Okay, we'll get it the third time. Has to. There we go. I won't take those healing grapes, though. Sorry, old man. You can keep your grapes. Worry not, old timer. Okay, so there are some new people in here. Scholar of Beasts. Okay. Uh, I'll inquire how to train a tiger. I assume that's going to be for a quest that I'm definitely missing already. Oh, come on. Let me just, let me just have your plums. Thank you. Thanks for just handing those over willingly. It feels like there's more people here. Byron family lineage. Okay, yeah, so we're just collecting things that I'm going to need for these little side quests here. Uh, Olive of Life Large restores... Oh, man, 3%. I would love to take that from the guy. Um, but it's fine. All right, so this guy... Um, we'll just tell him about the monster tamer. Uh, commune with beast? Nay, that does not sound like father. The neighboring tribe, the people of the Greenwood, also had monster tamers in their midst. Hmm, the people of Greenwood. Yet, tragically, they sought to use forbidden magic and lost their minds to monsters, turning on the very people they meant to protect. Crivens! <laughs> Crivens! That's it! Amazing. Beg your pardon for the outburst. Truth be told, I'm searching for my long-lost father. 
He was suddenly taken by a furious frenzy as if possessed. I saw it myself, even as it happened. A giant serpent coiled around his shadow. In the next instant, my father was gone. Before he lost his wits, my father would tell all and sundry that he was a descendant of monster tamers. I believe now that he resurrected their forbidden magic. According to legend, the Greenwood tribe was defeated and driven away by the people of Darkwood. So dangerous was the magic that they dared to dabble in. God's mercy to you. I am one step closer to finding my father. If my father is indeed under the thrall of some beast, then I have no choice but to slay his captor. My journey to save my father must continue. Perhaps in our wanderings we shall meet again. Uh, yeah, no, I love running into people over and over again. And he gave us a slippery nut! How, how nice of him to give us his nuts. Very, very kind. I don't know. Okay, so, um, but a man's not a hunter unless he's bagged a giant boar. Truth be told, I don't see myself doing that too soon. Oh, so we would have to, like, capture a boar for him. I'm longing to visit my husband. He's working in Boulderfall, but the way there passes through dangerous woods and I daren't go alone. Uh, okay, so that would be us. We'd have to escort her. So we'd have to, like, allure her and then escort her. And that other dude, I think we might have to, like, bring with us to get the boar. Um, so we saved. Uh, so we'll go ahead and call it there. Um, we will definitely circle back through these towns and take some of these side quests, I think, after uh, we complete Ophelia's Chapter 1. Um... So let's just sort of go. Yeah, so I will just sort of head out of this town because I think we have like a save point um, just on the other side here in the North Sewarki Trail. Or maybe, yeah, it's not too far from us. Uh, let's, uh, let's read this sign real quick. Um, Flames Grace to the right. Okay, so that's where we'll head. Uh, so let me go ahead and save. Uh, I really appreciate you guys coming and hanging out with me today. I will definitely be playing more Octopath Traveler here tomorrow, 4 p.m. Eastern. So same time as today. Uh, we'll go ahead and do uh, Ophelia's Chapter 1. Complete all of our party's Chapter 1. Get all eight of our party members. And uh, we'll see what happens next after that. Um... I really appreciate you all coming and hanging out with me. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at callmecaulfield, same as here. Uh, so please do join me again. Um, keep an eye on the Twitter for any and all stream updates, including cancellations, time changes, game changes, etc. Uh, I look forward to completing um, another chapter one with each of you. Uh, so yeah, thanks so much, and I hope you all have the best day and I will see you all tomorrow.